NBA facts that sound fake but are actually true, part 32. The 2000 NBA draft only has nine players to average more than 10 points per game in their entire career, making it one of the worst NBA drafts of all time. These players are Darius Miles, Quinton Richardson, Mike Miller, Morris Peterson, Hidu Turkoglu, Desmond Mason, Kenyon Martin, Jamal Crawford, and Michael Redd. During the month of February, Victor Wembanyama had 47 blocks. To put that into perspective, the entire Miami Heat franchise had just 35 blocks in that entire month. What makes this stat even crazier is that Miami had the number one defense despite the lack of blocks. This photo of Victor Wembanyama and Anthony Davis makes Anthony Davis look like a point guard rather than a center. LeBron James eats and writes with his left hand. At one point during the 2003-04 season, LeBron James and Scottie Pippen were both active NBA players. While they never technically faced off, they could have. Pippen only played 23 games in that 04 season, and there was an opportunity to face in December, but Scottie had knee issues which prevented it. In the first round of the 2021 playoffs, Bryn Forbes of the Bucs scored more points with 60 total points than Jimmy Butler, who only had 58 points in that entire Bucs vs. Heat series. LeBron James has lost every game game in which he broke a significant total scoring record. For example, he lost when he surpassed Michael Jordan's scoring record on March 6, 2019. He lost when he surpassed Kobe's total points, Karl Malone's, and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's. He even lost on the night he surpassed 40,000 points. The least amount of points scored in an overtime period is just two points. This happened on January 13, 1997, when the Nuggets and Hornets went to overtime being tied 100 to 100. With a combined 19 field goals attempted, all of these shots were missed aside for one bucket by Tony Smith to put the Hornets up 102 to 100. Ben Simmons in the last three seasons has only played 57 games and missed the rest. In this time frame, he's made over $106 million. To put that into perspective, since the year 2020, Paolo Banquero played 4,555 minutes and counting. Ben has only played 4,165 minutes and counting. For more context though, Banquero was drafted in 2022 by the way. The most major NBA awards in a single season belongs to the 2001 Philadelphia Philadelphia 76ers. They won six awards that season. Allen Iverson won Most Valuable Player, Dikimbi Mutombo won Defensive Player of the Year, Aaron McKee won Sixth Man of the Year, Larry Brown won Coach of the Year, Allen Iverson was also an All-Star Game MVP, and Dikimbi Mutombo won the Citizen Award. Mark Eaton had 456 blocks in the 84-85 season, which means even if you cut that amount in half to 228 blocks, he still would have been first in the league in blocks that season rest in peace to Mark Eaton. So far this season, Jason Tatum has not been so clutch, as during clutch time in this NBA season, at the time of this recording, he's only scored 59 points so far, and he's been shooting 31.9% from the field and 31.3% from three. Again, this is not his total stats, but his clutch time stats. The NBA started tracking blocks at the beginning of the 1973-74 season. Just nine games into that very season, Elmore Smith had 17 blocks in a single game, and that record still stands today for the most blocks in one game. So here were NBA facts that sound fake but are actually true part 32. Let me know if you want to see a part 33. Don't forget to dunk on that like button and subscribe with notifications turned on. I'm Rebound Rewind and I'll fast forward to you later.